Hi friends, welcome back to TE Medication. Friends, in this video, we are solving problem on system of linear equations. Given problem is investigate for what values of lambda and mu so that the system of equations 2x plus 3y plus 5z is equal to 9, 7x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 8, 2x plus 3y plus lambda z is equal to mu has unique solution no solutions, infinite number of solutions. Okay friends, by the observation we can say this system of linear equation is a non-homogeneous. Okay, now to find these solutions means unique solution, no solution, infinitely many solutions. First, we have to convert the given matrix, given a system of linear equations into matrix notation form that is AX is equal to B. After that, we need to write a Augmented matrix, augmented matrix A, B. Okay, for this we have to apply elementary row operations and we have to convert this one into matrix uh, echelon form. Okay, in the echelon form it might be in the form of upper triangular matrix. Okay, after that we have to find out rank of A and rank of A, B. If rank of A is equal to rank of A, B, if rank of A is equal to rank of A, B, then the system has a consistent. In this case, we have two types of the solution. One is unique solution. Another one is infinite many solutions. Many solutions are infinite uh, number of uh, solutions. Okay, friends. Whenever R is equal to N, we will have a unique solution. Whenever uh, R, R is your rank of the matrix, which is less than N, then you can say infinite solutions. Whenever rank of A not is equal to rank of AB, in this case, we have no solution. Okay, friends. So, now we have to solve this uh, system of linear equations by using this method. First, we have to write the given system of linear equations in the matrix form AX is equal to B, where B is a constant matrix, X is an unknown matrix and A is the coefficient matrix. Okay friends, what is the coefficient matrix here? We have to write the coefficients of X, Y, Z as A. Okay, now you see the first two equations. We have to write the X coefficient is 2, Y coefficient 3, Z coefficient 5 in the first row. Okay, next. In the second row, we have to write the coefficient of X, Y, Z in the second equation. X coefficient is what I have? 7. Y coefficient is 3, Z coefficient is minus 2. Next, in the third equation, what do you have? X coefficient 2, Y coefficient 3, and Z coefficient is lambda, which is called the coefficient matrix. Now, we have to write the constant matrix that is named as B. What is the constant matrix? Right side part of the all the equations, what do you have? You see, this is 9. Next, what I have? 8. Next, mu. So, this is called a constant matrix. Okay, friends. Now, this is AX is equal to B form. Now we have to write the augmented matrix AB. Here I have written augmented matrix AB. Okay friends, AB is nothing but here we have to write A and we have to write a matrix B. Friends, here you observe in this augmented matrix, what is the first diagonal element you have? 2. Generally, if this is the first diagonal element is unit element, then by using a elementary operation, easily we can make a below the diagonal elements are 0. But here you have a 1. If it is possible, make this a 2 as 1. How it is possible? Verify. Here you have a 7. Here you have a 2. So friends, you see R1, if I multiply it with 4, what will happen? 4R1. 4R1 means what? 8 minus R2. What is R2? Here you have 7. So if I did, what will happen here? 4 times of 2 means 8 minus 7. It will become 1. So now I am applying R1 tends to 4R1 minus R2. Then here you observe friends, 4R1 means I am multiplying with 4 here. 4 into 2, 8 minus 7 is 1. 4 3s are 12. 12 minus 3 means 9. 4 5s are 20. 20 minus of minus plus 2 that is 22. Next 4 9s are 36. 36 minus 8 is 28. Now, are we applying any operations on second and third row? No. So, write down as this. That is 7, 3, minus 2, 8. This is 2, 3, lambda, mu. That's it. Okay, friends. Now, this is the first diagonal element. This diagonal element is unit. So, you can uh, 
apply elementary row operations easily you can convert the below the diagonal elements are zero for this i am applying here what i have seven how can it become a zero seven minus seven so r2 tends to r2 minus 7 r1 next what you have in the third row first element 2 2 how can it will become a 0 2 minus 2 so r3 tends to r3 minus 2 r1 then the matrix here you observe friends first row am i applying any operations no i am not applying any operation so you write down as it is that is 1 9 22 28 now second row 7 minus 7 you see friends 7 minus 7 is 0 here i am writing minus 7 7 minus 7 0 3 minus 9 times of 7 is here 3 minus 63 means minus 60 next minus 2 minus 22 uh, 22 times of minus 7 is now minus 2 minus 7 times of minus 22 that is minus 2 minus 154 so this will become minus 156 next year you have 8 minus 7 times of 28 it will become minus 188 okay friends now coming to the third row here you have a 2 so i am applying r3 minus 2 r1 so write down minus 2 here then 2 minus 2 is 0 3 minus 18 3 minus 18 means minus 15 this is lambda minus 20 uh, 22 times of minus 2 means minus 44 next year you have a mu minus 28 times of 2 means 56 so minus 56 that's it now observe below the first diagonal element these two terms are what zero okay next coming to the second diagonal element in the second diagonal element what i have minus 60 what about the below the diagonal element here you have minus 15 so by using this second diagonal element we have to make the below the diagonal element as zero okay for that we can multiply with the 4 then this will become what 60 then you can subtract you will get uh, this term will be 0 or else what I can do this entire second row you can divide with 4 then in this case it will be converted into 15 after that uh, from third row you can subtract the second row even though in that case also it will be 0 but what I am doing here I am uh, multiplying a third row with 4 and subtracting from 2 applying R3 tends to 4 r3 minus r2 okay friends now i am writing first row and second row as it is 1 9 22 28 0 minus 60 minus 156 minus 188 now coming to the third row here what i am doing i am multiply with 4 and subtracting r2 then in this case 0 minus 0 is 0 this is minus 60 if i multiply with the minus 1 what will happen plus 60 so 60 minus 60 is 0 then this will be 4 times of lambda minus 44 plus 156 so in this case this is a 4 lambda minus 176 plus 156 so what will happen friends here 4 lambda minus 20 okay friends next what i have this is 4 times of mu minus 56 plus 188 so this will be 4 mu minus 36 okay friends 4 mu minus 36 here i am writing now you observe friends below the second diagonal element is also zero so now you observe this is in eclan form or not it is converted into upper triangular matrix if there are any zero rows that should be below the non-zero row second condition is the number of zeros before the first non-zero element are in increasing order with row wise so here this is the first non-zero element here you have any zeros no here this is the first non-zero element here you have one zero here you have two zeros so zeros are also in increasing order with row wise right now so it is satisfying a eclan form of two conditions so based on this now we have to discuss the system as a unique solution infinite solution or no solution now i am checking for a no solution what is mean by no solution no solution means rank of a not is equal to rank of a b friends here you observe this is a zero row or non-zero row non-zero row because at least one non-zero element is occur this is a non-zero row this is also non-zero row so by the observation we can say rank of a2 rank of a b is also 2 when you can say rank of a not is equal to rank of a b how many number of unknowns are there how many rows are there number of unknowns are 3 number of rows rows also how many here you have 
3 only. So, suppose actually what is this? Is a, this is a matrix A. This is total AB. Now, rank of A is 2, rank of AB is equal to 3. In this case, what will happen? The system has no solution. When you can say rank of A is 2, if this is equal to 0 and this is not is equal to 0. Yes or no? Now, I am writing 4 lambda minus 20 is is equal to 0. 4 lambda minus 20 is equal to 0 which implies 4 lambda is equal to 20, lambda is equal to 5. That's it. Okay friends. Next, uh, what do you have? 4 mu minus 36 should be what? Not is equal to 0. 4 mu minus 36 is not is equal to 0. So, mu not is equal to 9. Finally, what we can conclude here? If lambda is equal to 5, comma mu not is equal to 9, in this case, the system has no solution. Okay, coming to the second part. What is the second part? The system has unique solution. When you can say the system has unique solution, if rank of A is equal to rank of AB, which is equal to R, and this is, should be equal to number of unknowns. How many number of unknowns are there? Here we have a three number of unknowns. When you can say rank uh, here, so R should be what? R is also should be equal to 3. When it is possible, if number of non-zero rows equal to 3. In this case, already you have two non-zero rows. So, this should be not is equal to 0. If it is not is equal to 0, then you can say this is a non-zero row. In this case, you can say rank of A. Rank of A is equal to 3. Similarly, rank of AB is also 3. Okay, friends. Now, 4 lambda minus 20 not is equal to 0. So, lambda not is equal to 5. That is enough. Friends, whatever it may be mu. Because if mu is, uh, is equal to 9 or not is equal to 9, it's not an issue. Because this is 0, this is 0, this is non-zero. Non-zero I am taking as a 5. Even it is 0 or non-zero, whatever it may be. Rank of AB is what? 3 only. Because one non-zero element is there in the row. So, finally what you can conclude here? The system has unique solution for lambda not is equal to 5 and mu is any number. So, you can say mu belongs to R. Okay friends. Now, in the last condition is you have an infinite solution. Remember friends, when you can say infinite solution means R is less than N. What is R here? Rank of A and rank of AB both should be equal. Okay. Now, what is N here? N means number of unknowns. How many unknowns are there? x, y, z, 3 unknown. So, n is equal to 3. Obviously, rank will be what? r is less than 3. Here you have rank of a or rank of a, b. What you can say? By using echelon form in this condition, this is a non-zero row, this is non-zero so non-zero row. So, you can say rank is equal to 2. Obviously, rank should be 2 which is less than 3. When it is possible, if you observe friends, this is 0, this is 0. If it is 0 and this is also 0, what will happen in this case? Entire uh, row will be 0 row in the matrix A and also matrix B. So, rank of A is equal to 2, rank of AB is equal to 2. When it is possible, if 4 lambda is equal to 0, 4 lambda minus 20 is equal to 0, nothing but lambda is equal to 5 and uh, 4 mu minus 36 is equal to 0. Okay. In this case, 4 mu is equal to 36, mu is equal to 9. So, finally, you can say, for lambda is equal to 5, comma mu is equal to 9, the system has infinite solutions. I think it is a clear for everyone. Right. Thank you for watching this video.